Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today, we're going to make a very extra special side sauce that tastes oh so scrumptious with some bread. It's a very tasty snack, often featured at my Super Bowl party because we all love the taste of it so much. What could it be? Come on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Today's shout out goes to Jose Hernandez. Thanks, Jose, for the support. If you want to get a shout out in my next video, stay tuned to the end to find out how. Today, we're going to make a spinach and artichoke dip inspired by Food Network's Alton Brown. You'll see it's really fast and easy to make and very tasty. My family loves to spread it on a baguette or whatever bread you might have around the house. Here are the ingredients. One cup of chopped spinach. Two cans of artichoke quarters, drained and chopped. One clove of garlic, crushed, just like my dreams of being on Food Network. Six ounces of cream cheese. One quarter cup of sour cream. One third cup of Parmesan cheese, the star of our show. A quarter cup of mayonnaise. How many this taste great if you can get it cheap? Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, or more if you like it spicy, a quarter teaspoon of salt, or more if you like your food salty, some bread, baguette, <laughs> it can't be any bread, it has to be baguette. <laughs> All right, this is about a cup of spinach. We're going to chop it up before we boil it. Beyond all recognition. So you're gonna chop, chop, chop your spinach. You wanna make it small because you don't want big slices in your dip. Oh, I have like a fairly small enough size. When spinach cooks, it shrinks. So just a little more. I'm going to set that aside. And chop up our artichoke cart. You do not want big chunks like this in your dip. So we're going to drain it and then chop them up. So while I am chopping up the artichoke and the spinach, I already put a pan, pan, a pot of water for boiling. And it's getting hot right now so we can boil our food. We won't need to boil it for very long. Spinach doesn't take very long to cook. Nor does artichoke, especially when they're chopped. Look at how much artichoke two cans produced. I'm thinking one would have been enough. So the artichoke is supposed to be in a 3 to 2 ratio with the spinach. That means for a cup of spinach, you should have a cup and a half of artichoke. And this is a lot more artichoke than I need today. Make two. I smell the artichoke. It smells like clams or something. Hmm. 
All right, let's see how much we got of each. Then make one big one. I would need more cream cheese. I don't have that much cream cheese. Okay, so now I've got our cup and a half of artichoke. We've got our cup of spinach. Now we're gonna go boil them. Got our water boiling, so now we're just gonna add in the artichoke hearts. And the spinach. Plop. We're gonna boil this for about three minutes and then drain it. Now that it's been in the hot water for three minutes, we're gonna take it out and strain it. Now that the spinach and artichoke is nice and soft, we're going to put in our six ounces of cream cheese in the microwave to soften it up and to warm it up to keep the dish hot. I would say a 30 second nuke would be good. We'll use 30. Into our softened cream cheese goes our hot spinach and artichoke, and it is hot. That'll help melt that cream cheese as well. Now I'll add all the other ingredients. Starting with the crushed garlic. Start with the garlic that is crushed. Like my Food Network star dreams. Quarter cup of sour cream. Quarter cup of mayonnaise. Third a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Then you stir it all together. After stirring it all up to combine all the ingredients, serve it with your favorite bread. For my daughter, her favorite bread is the baguette. So we're going to slice it up so that she can eat it with the baguette. Now, if you are using a baguette, make sure it's freshly purchased. They get hard rather fast. This one was purchased yesterday. It's already a little hard and tough. It's not so bad. Of the art 
Turtle and the spinach mix together very well. Plus the cream cheese makes it creamy. So you should make it all the time. You put mayonnaise in this? That's mm -hmm. what it tastes like. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like Is the spinach already choked it? Yeah. Yep, it's mayonnaise. Forget about the mayonnaise, it's covered with all the spinach and artichoke, which is the bad stuff, so it tastes good. Since you made it this far, don't forget to spread your mouse button over that like button. Just like my kids spread their spinach artichoke dip all over their baguette. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just to mess with those people who don't watch this part of the video, go ahead and slip the word potato and your comment down below for a chance at a shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.